Um, thanks for inviting me to have this conversation. It's definitely something that um, I do feel like people need to hear in the book industry um, about uh, how to respond when they are attacked out of the blue the way that we were. And so um, HB 900, House Bill 900, which was actually just signed into law by our governor last week, um, requires book vendors like bookstores, like book people, to identify and label books that are sexually explicit and sexually relevant before selling them to schools, as well as retroactively rating all of the books that were sold in the past and are still in circulation for checkout in school and classroom libraries. Um, books that are rated sexually explicit cannot be sold to schools, and they must also be recalled from any schools that we've ever sold them to in the past. So our challenge here is that um, book vendors like bookstores were just not able to comply with the requirements as outlined for book people specifically. We've been in business for almost 53 years, and we've never been required to keep records of the reasons why books were being purchased because that really feels like business overreach. And um, we have no idea how many books we've sold to school districts, much less which ones ended up in circulation for checkout in this model that they're targeting. Um, we also sell books at events like the Texas Book Festival, where educators from across the state come and stock up on signed books for their schools. We have no record <laughs> of which of those hit libraries, which hit classroom libraries. Um, so where we are is that since we know that we cannot comply with these guidelines as written, um, the book banners, that's what I call them, um, they're already looking at who could possibly comply and that points to the publishers because they're considered content creators in our supply chain. Um, and so while this bill was written for Texas, it affects all book vendors that sell to Texas schools. And it's not just vendors that are located in the state of Texas. So um, by forcing national vendors to create these rating systems, um, then it becomes basically the flick of a pen for any other state to sign on for their ready-made rated package. Um, the author of the bill named Representative Patterson he called it the model legislation for the rest of the country in his interview with a local news station. Uh, so that should really tell you what you need to know about his goal in writing this bill. 